Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a super quick and convenient way to record audio on the fly. So whether you're watching YouTube or Netflix, if you hear a sentence and you wanna make a sentence card out of it that includes that audio clip, then you can just rewind a little bit and then use this thing I'm about to show you to quickly record the audio and it'll be, uh, you'll be good to go. You'll see, it's super convenient and super quick. I wish I knew about this earlier. So in order to do this, we're gonna use this program called ShareX. Now, ShareX is a program that's predominantly used for taking screenshots on your computer, uh, like, like screen captures. And I've been using ShareX to take screen captures for a few months now, and it's super convenient because you can customize it any way you like. You can make it so that, you know, you press a button and it takes a screenshot and either uploads it to an image site or saves it somewhere on your computer or just copies it to your clipboard. So. I also highly recommend using ShareX for uh, screenshots, but there's already a lot of tutorials on the internet of how to you know, set up ScreenShare for screenshots. So in this video, I'm just gonna be showing you how to set it up for audio because I didn't know how to do that until today. Now, this method I actually found out about uh, from Vlad and well, from my friend named Vlad and Vlad found out about it from 4chan. So I'm not trying to take credit for this discovery or anything. Whoever came up with the original idea to set it up like this, uh, props to you. So go ahead and download and install ShareX and then, you know, open it up. And then first of all, by default, ShareX is going to save your screenshots and your, you know, audio files in a, a folder in your documents. But I like to have it just save them directly on my desktop. So I have quick access to them. So if you're like me and you want to set it, up, set it up like that, then go to application settings and then go to paths check this box that says use custom screenshots folder, click browse, and then select your desktop or wherever else you want to save your images and audio files. Now I like to just delete everything here out of subfolder pattern because I like it to just save the file directly on my desktop. I don't like when it puts it in a folder on my desktop. So there is that. So now you want to go to hotkey settings and I'll click on add. And then right here where it says task none, you wanna to go to screen record and then to the second one that says start stop screen recording using active window region. Now check this box right here that says override capture settings and then click on this uh, drop down menu and you want to uncheck save image to file and upload image to host and then check off copy file to clipboard because this way after it finishes recording the audio file it will copy it to the clipboard and then we can directly paste it into an Anki card or something uh, and you know it'll be really quick and convenient so now you want to go to capture right here check this box that says override capture settings then go to screen recorder click screen recorder screen recording options and then hit download and then once it finishes downloading, you're gonna to wanna to click right here where it says install recorder devices. Now, when I tried to reinstall the recorder devices, uh, the first time I tried to film this, I got an error and it told me that I would have to close this program OBS, uh, which I'm using to film this. If I wanted to reinstall the uh, recorder devices, so I'm not gonna do that here, but basically just click uh, install recorder devices and then you will gain this uh, option right here that says virtual audio capture, which will allow you to record audio from directly whatever is coming out of your computer instead of just a physical microphone. So after that, go ahead and select that virtual audio capture, because of course this is for taking audio from either you know VLC, YouTube, Netflix, whatever we're watching. And then video source, go to none, because this is just for getting audio. We don't really want video. And then audio codec, go to MP3. And then now we're done here. So close this, close this. And then for this new um, task we set up right here, you wanna click where it says none and then select whatever key you wanna use as a shortcut. So I like to use F3. So I'm just gonna hit F3. And now every time we press F3, it will start recording audio. And when we press F3 again, it will stop recording and save the audio file to our desktop or wherever else we told it to save our files. So now we're good. We can exit out of this, exit out of this. And now just to demonstrate, let's say, you know, we're watching Netflix and we hear a sentence that we want. We can just re rewind a little bit. 
um, start playing it again. Now there is about like one a half a second to one second of lag before it starts recording, so you got to keep that in mind and you know get used to it recording. But you know, you uh, press F3, it will start recording like this, and then we just hit it again, and then it stops recording, saves it to our desktop, and then it also, like we told it to do, it will copy it to our clipboard. So now, if we go in the Anki, we can just do Control V, and it can just, uh, you know, we can just paste it directly in. So this can be really useful when you know you want to make sentence cards on the fly for stuff you're watching. It can also be quick, uh, it can also be useful if, for example, you have this app right here. Um, you know, if you have Colbury with the NHK Accent Dictionary and you want to set it up such that uh, you can quickly take audio out of, uh, the, you know, the NHK Accent Dictionary, you can just, you know, press F3. And then paste it right in. So that's really convenient. Now, I am aware that although you can't download audio from Quolbri directly in the NHK Accent Dictionary. You can do this. You can do that with this other program, Golden Dick, but it takes time, right? You have to um, right-click on the word, hit save, and then drag it in. Whereas with this method, you just, you know, hit it, copy it, uh, like it gets copied, and then you just paste it right in. So it's it's really quick. So yeah, I hope this is useful uh, to you. I wish I knew about it earlier. I would have used it all the time. Uh, I think this is, yeah, super convenient. And yeah, that's all for me.